but when it comes to convenience, uh, the only downside I see is the opening. Uh, be careful in getting caught in the rain or if you have a sweaty palm, if you touch it, uh, there would be a possibility of having um, stain marks or watermarks on it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about the new hottest bag a monogram bag, a leather bag, because you have two options for it. This is the runway piece for the spring summer 2023. It's the side trunk. And if you don't know by now, I'm Murphy and currently as I'm recording this video, I'm an SA here in Louis Vuitton, Singapore, and I'm here to bring you the latest and the hottest collection in our store in Singapore in luxury world in general. So if this is your kind of thing, don't forget to subscribe. So without further ado, let's start talking about this new bag, Side Trunk. This is a very trendy, casual, practical bag in my opinion. So first thing that we're going to talk about all the time and in any bags that we talk about is the material. So there are two materials for this. Uh, one is the uh, monogram canvas and the other one is the cowhide leather. So let's start with the leather. The cowhide leather is actually very edgy. It's a debossed technique of finish. So we have embossed it. Our workshop um, hot stamp the logo. So it will be embossed. It's going inwards, but this one is going outwards. So it's called deboss. Uh, you have the beautiful texture. The leather is soft and supple. It's a smooth uh, finish of leather, I would say. I know a lot of people will be asking if it will get easily scratched. It wouldn't. But with a leather like this, we have it in a couple of our collection. I'm I'm sure you've seen um, the monogram shadow for men's collection this is almost the same scratches is not a problem for this however creases would be but it depends on the usage if you love this look just go for it don't overthink about the usage because you know bags are meant to season and to grow with you not a lot of times that the hardware is in silver so that's a plus point for me moving on with the monogram monogram is of course, the simple monogram, it's a coated canvas. Uh, the leather, the binding, the strap and everything is in leather, in VVN leather. It's the normal VVN leather or Vachetta leather, as other people call it, that does not have a coating on top. So uh, be careful in getting caught in the rain or if you have a sweaty palm, if you touch it. Uh, there would be a possibility of having um, stain marks or watermarks on it. But if you don't, it's okay. It will season beautifully over time. This leather he is already pre-seasoned because it's already a little bit darker compared to the Vachetta leather that you see in Canvas and in, I mean in Neverfull and uh, Speedy. So it's a little bit darker already. So it blends in beautifully with the Canvas uh, monogram brown leather. I love this bag because it has a lot of details. This is called Side Trunk because obviously it's inspired by a trunk. A trunk is a trend nowadays. If, you, if you're if you a Louis Vuitton lover and you don't have a physical trunk in your house right now, think twice because you have to have one. Trunk is part of the history of Louis Vuitton, but I, would, I could go on and on about the trunk because I love our trunks. However, we're talking about the side trunk now. So one significant thing is of course uh, the S-lock that you will see that is attached on the front of the bag it is actually also the puller of the zipper so it's actually quite cute that way um it's a little bit troublesome if you are in hurry but honestly if you get used to it it doesn't matter the binding is also embossed by a monogram print which you will also see in the uh in our actual trunk it is a bag that has a lot of thoughts and details to it. It is really a runway piece. However, I still love the petite valise that is an actual trunk that you will get in Louis Vuitton. So trunks, bag, so far, the soft-sided, I like this better. You can compare this honestly with the petite mall supple. Supple, supple, I don't know how to pronounce it. This one, but I like this better because of the actual metal parts and the binding that you have in here and it could be casual or a little bit smart casual so uh, it's something that is really 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 versatile it comes with uh, two straps one is a uh, slightly thick handle strap um, a lot of you would uh, ask me if you can put it in your shoulders you can but this bag is a little bit uh, bulky to even put it as a shoulder bag it will be very uncomfortable under your arm so i wouldn't recommend this short strap to be 
uh, worn as a shoulder carry this is just for handle and it looks really beautiful this is my favorite look if you're gonna uh, carry it as to the short handle however for people who loves crossbody bag you have an option you have the second strap which is an adjustable strap where you can use it as a shoulder carry and a crossbody bag however i tried it this is how it looks like uh, I find it a little too bulky really to uh, carry it even as a crossbody bag or maybe because I am just short. I am 5 feet tall so uh, this shape is a little bit too bulky for me. Um, I love it when it is carried as a handbag. Inside it is very very spacious. As you open the zip it is actually very uh, spacious roomy. You can put the long wallet inside. I tried a uh, Sarah wallet. It actually fits perfectly inside however you have to angle it when you put it inside as for the phone whatever phone can fit inside ipad cannot laptop cannot only your phones i think until five phones if you have five phones who has five phones um you can actually put everything in uh long story short uh for people who likes uh medium bags and uh something in between big and sh big and uh, small bag this is actually something that you would uh, want. I would think that this lines up with um, maybe pochette metal, so it's something that is in between small and big bags. The price of the canvas is 5200 and the leather is 5950 The price is actually pretty good. 5200 I know for the canvas it is a little bit pricey, but nowadays really all the bags are in that price. For a runway piece like this, uh, 5200 I think it's okay but uh just a add a little bit more you get a leather bag already so in my opinion leather bag is more worth it if you're gonna ask me i like this design because it's something really different from all the other collections some of the new bags are just a copycat of the old ones so um i think this is something to add to your collection if you think you've had all the design of louis, louis vuitton bag already and waiting for something unique to come along so you will have a new bag this is uh something perfect uh for for that option Christmas is coming. If you want a gift for yourself, this is actually absolutely perfect because uh, it's something really versatile, something that you can use everywhere, something trendy and fashionable. I love this bag, um, but when it comes to convenience, uh, the only downside I see is the opening that you have to lock that S lock onto the front of the bag and use it as a zip puller. That is the only downside. Also, the opening is quite small. Like when you open it and you ha you want to put in big or long stuff like the Sarah wallet it will be a little bit of struggle but aside from that it's actually pretty good um, it's supple so it's meant to be soft um, you have to have a um, stuffing in my opinion to maintain its shape so far we are displaying it in the store without a stuffing and the shape is still pretty good it has already been uh, a week that we have been displaying it and it's still very very good but I, I think you will need a little bit of um, effort to keep it safe you can to keep its shape you cannot just shove it off your closet and just expect the the shape to be intact so um, that's pretty much it I can say about it this is a bag for all age also so um, young young adults it just depends on your style but this is more on the trendiest uh, part of the bag so if you're fe feeling trendy I would definitely recommend this bag. This is just a short review because I know there are a lot of questions about it and honestly when I posted it on my Instagram there are a lot of questions about what fits inside so um, thank you so much for watching. If you already got in this bag tell me about it and if you want to get this bag just comment down below tell me why and further questions just comment down below I will try my best to answer all your questions and thank you all so much for your support and please recommend me to your friends if you haven't yet because it helps with my algorithm to reach more people like you who loves luxury brands and uh, that's all and I will see you on my next video bye